My name is Joseph Matthew from Capel, Texas, and today I'll be talking about rhythm and math in music. So a basic term that you should know is what a beat is. A beat is a simple measurement of time. It's essentially the pulse of the music. So talking about some basic subdivision and notes that you should know, um, let's start with the whole note. So the whole note is worth four beats in standard time. And standard time is a 4-4 key signature. And we'll talk about what this 4-4 means uh, later on. But for now, what you need to know is that this is a whole note and it's worth four beats. And a whole note can be de uh, denoted by just a circle um, and it doesn't have any lines on it. So a whole note can be further subdivided into two half notes, okay? So half note is worth half of the whole note. So right here, this is a half note. And a half note can be denoted by uh, an open circle with a line. Um, and this is worth one and two beats. So each one of these is worth two beats out of the four beats that we have total. Then a half note can be further subdivided into a quarter note. A quarter note is again, one quarter of the whole note. Okay, so if we think of this in terms of fractions, let's say that the whole note is four beats out of four beats, okay? Now, each one of the half notes is worth two out of the four total beats. Then a quarter note is worth one out of the four total beats, okay? A quarter note can now further be subdivided into two eighth notes, okay? So each one of these is an eighth note. And an eighth note can be denoted by the little uh, flag uh, on the top of the stem of the note. So an eighth note is again worth one eighth of the entire whole note. So it's a half of a quarter note, a fourth of a half note, and an eighth of a whole note. Then an eighth note can be split up into two sixteenth notes which is denoted by the two flags on the stem. So we have two flags instead of just one, uh, like the eighth note. And this is worth 1 16th of the whole note. So there are four 16th notes in one beat. So a quarter note is worth one beat in this case, okay? Because there's four beats total, which means that uh, we have to divide the four beats into four parts, which means it's each quarter note is equal to one beat. And since there's four 16th notes in one beat, that means there's uh, 16 16th notes in four beats. So when we're counting, uh, when we're counting each one of these notes, a whole note would be counted as one, two, three, four, then a half note or two half notes in that matter would be counted as one, two, three, four. Then quarter notes would be counted as one, two, three, four. Eighth notes would be one and two and three and four and. And sixteenth notes would be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So I clapped each beat and you could hear my voice uh, counting each subdivision. So let's move on to time signature. So this is what I was talking about up here with 4-4. Four, four. Um, this is a time signature, which is the notation used to denote how many beats are in each measure of music and which type of note receives the beat. So. When I say one measure of music, uh, this is what I mean. So each uh, bar of music is, each one of these lines denotes a different uh, measure or a different bar. So in, in standard time, which is 4-4, four, four, this is called standard time. And this is the most common uh, time signature you'll see in music. Um, we are given 4-4. Four, four. So, um, the top number of a time signature always denotes 
how many beats are in each measure. So in this case, we have four beats for each measure or bar. The bottom number denotes what type of note gets the beat. So in this case, the four denotes that the quarter note gets the beat. So looking at a different example, in this case, the top number has changed from a four to a three. This means that there are three beats per measure instead of four beats per measure. And again, the four and the bottom has stayed the same, meaning that the quarter note gets the beat. Looking at a different example, we're given four eight. So this time, the, the top number stayed the same from four four, but the bottom number has changed. So in this case, we have four beats per measure again, same like as, um, as four four time, but this time the eight in the bottom means that the eighth note gets the beat. So instead of the, f the quarter note getting the beat, the eighth note now gets the beat. So in this case, uh, looking at four four time, uh, one beat is gonna be equal to one quarter note, right? Because there's four beats per measure and the quarter note gets the beat meaning that there's four quarter notes or four beats per measure, meaning that one beat is equal to one quarter. So when we're looking at four eight, this is a different time signature in the sense that each value will be equal to double what it normally is worth. So seeing that the eighth note gets the beat, that means one beat is equal to one eighth note. So knowing that one beat is equal to one eighth note, we know that uh, one quarter note is equal to two beats, correct? Because an eighth note is half of a quarter note, meaning that a quarter note should now be equal to two beats if an eighth note is equal to one beat. So in that same way, we can, if you double the value or the, the regular value of each note, that's what um, its, its uh, beat value would be in four eight time compared to four four time. So next we're gonna work out uh, some examples of these to teach you how to count uh, different time signatures and different note values. Okay, so we're gonna work out some examples in standard time to show you how to count each one of these beats. So if we're writing out our notation or writing out our counting, um, our whole note will be one, two, three, four each half note will be one two three four each quarter note is worth one beat so one two three four and now we have eighth notes in the last measure so remember going back up here our eighth notes would be counted as one and two and three and four so in this case uh, we would have one and two and three and four and so i'm gonna play a, a beat on a on a metronome at 50 in four four standard time so in this case each beat will be each click that you hear so i'm going to play four beats of the metronome really quick So those, that was eight beats on the metronome, but each one of those clicks will be worth one beat for our purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and count uh, how this would sound, and I'm going to clap the rhythm. So one important distinction is beat versus rhythm. So rhythm is essentially what we're reading in the music, and our beat is the standard pulse that um, that is uh, gonna be present throughout the whole uh, line of music. So in this case, the metronome will be playing the beat and I will be counting and clapping the rhythm, okay? Well, actually, I'll essentially be counting the beat but subdividing it when we get down to here, one and two and three and four. So here's how that would sound with the metronome. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
four. One and two and three and four and. So in that case, you could hear that each time I clapped, it was a new note. So since it was just one whole note in this line or in this bar, I only clapped once. And since there were two half notes, I clapped two times. Four quarter notes, I clapped four times. Eight eighth notes, I clapped eight times. So as you could see, um, when counting the eighth notes, we said one and two and three and four. And in the same way, in the next example, we'll have 16th notes. And 16th notes will be counted as one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Um, and each one of those little E and a, you, those can be anything you want them to be, but one E and a is just the most common phrase used um, from what I've heard. But those, each one of these is just uh, a 16th note, but it can be anything you want, um, any word or sound that you find it, uh, comfortable to count in. Um, so, with the second example, uh, it's also in 4-4 four, four time, but now if we wanted to write out our counting, this would be 1 and 2, 3, 4 and. Then the second bar would be 1, 2, and 3, and 4. The third bar would be 1, E, and a, uh, 2, E, and a, uh, 3, and 4. Again, because this is two groups of 16th notes. So each, each one of this set of 4 is equal to 1 beat. So 1, E, and a uh, is 1 beat. 2 e and a is the second beat. Two eighth notes here would be 3 and, which is the third beat, and one quarter note, which is the fourth beat. Then the last measure would be 1 and, 2 e and a, 3 and, 4. So we have two eighth notes in the beginning, then one group of 16th notes then another set of eighth notes, and finally a quarter note. So this time I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. Uh, the metronome will be playing the beat, and I will count and clap. Uh, I, will, I will say uh, what we wrote down here on the bottom, and I will clap the rhythm. So I'm gonna play four beats as a, uh, as a come into the, the first measure. Um, so here we go. One and two, three, four and one, two and three and four. One E and a two E and a three and four. One and two E and a three and four. So in that, uh, in that case, you could hear that I, again, clapped uh, the rhythm, which was each note that we saw, and I counted uh, the counting. And remember that for 16th notes, the common way is one e and a, and for eighth notes is one and. So that's reading in 4-4 four, four time. Next, we're going to do an example in 4-8 time to see how that changes our rhythms and how it changes our counting. So here we have an example of um, rhythms in 4-8 time. So remember with 4-8 time, our, we have 4 beats per measure still, but now the 8th note receives 1 beat. 8th note is equal to 1 beat. So that means that the quarter note is essentially now worth 2 beats. The half note is worth four beats. A sixteenth note is now worth an, uh, the same as an eighth note once was. Because again, we're doubling the original value of each of these notes. So the eighth note doubled is a quarter note. A quarter note doubled is a half note. A half note doubled is a whole note. A sixteenth note doubled is an eighth note. So if we wanted to count this out, we would read this as one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four. And these are 16th notes, individual 16th notes. So this would be one and two and three, four. This is an eighth note, so one, two, three, four, and. Okay, so that's how we would count this out. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier and play a metronome. Uh, it'll be the same tempo as before. I'm going to say what we wrote down out loud and clap the rhythm. Uh, and I'll also have four beats uh, before I come in. So that's how you uh, do some basic counting and uh, basic rhythms and subdivision. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.